I'm Paul Perkins with the check of your ag weather. Westerly wind gusts of 30 to 40 are likely for tomorrow as an area of low pressure moves across the northern plains. For the weekend through Wednesday, highs region-wide warm into the 40s, even some low 50s over north-central Kansas. Chances for snow or rain return from Monday night through Thursday when we see several disturbances track to the east. That best chance is late Tuesday night through early Thursday morning with some isolated areas of snow and rain, nothing too big. On the backside of low pressure, temperatures cool just slightly to seasonal levels in the upper 30s to the low 40s. For the long-term forecast, no big cold blast are imminent. Seasonal to slightly warmer than normal temperatures are indicated for Wednesday through February 16th for Nebraska and Kansas. During that time in central Nebraska, our daytime highs are usually in the low 40s with overnight lows typically in the upper teens. Above normal precipitation is likely in Nebraska and Kansas Wednesday through February 16th, especially 8 to 14 days from now. Key weather factors influencing the markets include warmer weather in the U.S., a period of dry weather for Argentina, and additional heavy rain in central Brazil. Today, frigid air trails the cold front crossing the Mid-South and Mid-Atlantic. Early tomorrow, sub-zero temperatures cover much of New England and New York, with readings colder than 20 below expected in northern Maine. Precipitation arrives along the Pacific Coast this weekend. Early next week, drought-easing precipitation may return across portions of the south-central U.S., Drought areas of the central and southern plains, though, again look to be mostly missed, but could pick up a little moisture. From the northern plains, milder temperatures this next week, reducing the stress on livestock before a cooling trend returns for next weekend. Argentina heads into a period for about the next 10 days with little to no rain for most areas. An increase in heat and dryness in Argentina may undo the good of recent rain that benefited later planted corn and soybeans. Central and northern Brazil have had some breaks in the rain this week to complete some soybean harvest and second crop corn planting, but more heavy rain moves in again over the weekend. Southern Brazil dries out over the weekend from Piranha to Rio Grande do Sul. The drier weather in southern Brazil continues to be concerning, but it will allow for field work in Piranha. I'm Paul Perkins. That's a check of your ag weather.